touch, we break Make it seem like we feel the same We love what we have We lie, but we know We can't wire or it doesn't grow Give up, let it go But we fell apart just in time It was worth the try Right now, this game is in dry dock. The hull is being assembled, technology is being tested, and the crew is in training. Development has started, and you are invited to participate. We want to share every moment of development with you. Every failure, every success, every setback, every breakthrough. This is PAX East 2014, and Unknown Worlds is back. This time, we're showing Subnautica. As you can see, the whole show floor is swarming with people. It's covered in lights and sound and games and showiness. Let's go and find out what's happening at the Subnautica booth. Inside, we've got four Subnautica demo machines, a giant TV, this cool net that makes you feel a little bit like you're underwater. The demos take five minutes, but that means we can put a few hundred people through the Subnautica prototype experience here at PAX East 2014. And it's really cool to watch the different experiences that people are having. This early in development, at this prototype stage, it's really important that we get as much feedback as possible to make sure that we're not doing something really silly. And watching diverse, different types of PAX goers encounter Subnautica and engage with its various gameplay elements is just fantastic. We're learning so much just by watching over shoulders here on the show floor. Welcome back guys, there's more Subnautica. So good news, I actually figured out how to get water. Those air sacs I was freaking eating? Oh, there's my things! <laughs> oh my god, it's probably gonna be in the other video. But the air sacs that I was eating to survive with food is actually how you, how you get membranes for water. And wow, this thing's really fast. So I, I gotta find air sacs now because I just wanna make sure this is how you do it. This is actually an air sac. So if I attack it, it should give me a damn thing. I'm, I'm assuming, oh, is that? Inventory full. That that would make sense. Okay, um, so we're we're actually at a good spot now. This feels good. I'm making filtered water, as you can see, so I can drink that. Okay. Stay. Is it gonna stay there? Cause if you stay, oh, okay. This is not a good idea. This is, this is. Oh, oh, oh. This is why you don't do that. Well, you know what? That's good. Okay, we're just gonna. Okay. Hey guys, it's Wraith, back with Subnautica. So, Unknown Worlds, the creator of this game, just released Update 8 yesterday, and I'm here to show you what's new. So you can obviously tell that the HUD view is a little bit different, now you have numerical views for your oxygen and health in the bottom left, and they added a lot more beneath the surface. See how I have to keep going up for air? Kind of annoying. That's a bit different now, because we have something called a pipe. That's what's in my hand right now. And with the pipe, you can 
Swim up to the surface. Drop one. Go down a bit. Attach another. Down a bit more. So all I have to do is just swim up. And it should give me some more oxygen. There we go. Next we have the stasis rifle, which is an item that I'm sure will get a lot of use once this game is in its full release. All you have to do is hold the right mouse button and hear, until you hear that little beep, and then you release it. And anything caught in the field or that swims into it while it is up will be frozen. So this thing that you see in my hand right now is called the terraformer, and you can use it to take away material, matter, whatever. Make some weird kind of structures, and you can also place it and build off of it. So yesterday there was this pretty big update that brought us this thing called the Cyclops, and I'll be showing you what that is in just a moment. Oh, gnarly, it's like crystallizing together. we got here pick up creature egg metal salvage okay and that's going up let's have a look what do we have here metal salvage yes please Anything else I can salvage? Is this thing open? No.
Dude, that would freak me out. A lot of stuff in this would be very anxiety inspiring in my mind, I gotta be honest. You would suffocate in a matter of seconds in here, I feel like. You gotta, oh my god. Oh, it's a right click fire extinguisher? The one downstairs in my kitchen's a left click fire extinguisher, so I was a little, a little confuzzled. Do you guys remember when they first implemented fire extinguishers? God damn, I'm old. <laughs> Ooh, that's so fancy now. Holy crap. Are you serious? That was so cool. All right So if you guys have any hints or tips or helpful advice anything of the sorts I am so freaking willing to take your info into my ear gently for um, I have Literally no idea what the hell's going on anymore Okay, oxygen's gonna be a real pain. I always forget oxygen is a thing personally. I have the lung capacity of I don't even know. There's no other human existence. Hang on, hang on. This thing looks freaky as hell. Okay, that's what you need the scanner for. Holy crap, you can't just pick things up, Johnny. Get up there. I was thinking of like Spore where you could just pick up blueprints for new stuff. Experimental mode, so clearly there's no information for it yet. All I pretty much get to do with it right now is watch it eat stuff. I'm gonna spawn some stuff for it to eat, definitely. I want to see its jowls come out of its face, though. The jowls ex oh my god! See, it's better to go over this stuff in experimental mode, anyways, because then you really get to spawn in items and examine the beast. So the creature is freaking huge. Obviously, as we've seen on the wiki, its jowls pretty much extend like that of a was it ghost shark? Why were they gonna ghost shark? Oh my god! It's grabbing him, dude! It's freaking grabbing him! Oh my god! Oh, oh this is the craziest thing I've ever seen! Oh my god! No. Yo, this is the thing of nightmares right here! It just straight up went for him! It got stopped by the base though, thank god! <laughs> Dude, that is the scariest freaking thing in slow motion I've ever seen in my whole life right there. Oh my god, that is straight up. So I know this isn't the point of the video, but good god. It's important we never forget who runs this ocean, you know? They may not be found in this exact region. They prefer warmer climates, but you can't deny the king of the ocean. Oh, 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 oh,